Ravi sells two watches for Rs. 1955 each, gaining 15% on the one and losing 15% on the other. Find his gain or loss percent in the whole transaction. So Ravi has two watches and uh, he has sold them for Rs. 1955 each. And uh, when he is doing this transaction, then he gains 15% on the first sale and he loses 15% on the other. So we need to find the what, what is the overall gain or loss percent when he makes this transaction. So there are two cases. So we will be discussing one by one. So case one is he is selling the watch at rupees 1955 and uh, in this transaction he is gaining 15%. So gain percent is 15. Now can you tell me in this situation what will be the cost price of the watch? We know that CP is SP into 100 upon 100 plus gain percent. So we can use this formula and find the cost price. So SP is 1955. So 1955 into 100 upon 100 plus gain percent is 15%. So it is 100 plus 15. Now simplify this and just let me know what is your answer. So 1955 into 100 upon 115. Simplify this. Yes, I am getting answer as uh, rupees 1700. Have you got it? This is case 1. CP is rupees 1700. Okay, now let us see what is case 2. So, case 2 is here we have SP rupees 1955, and uh, in this case, you are given loss percent as 15. So, can you tell me what will be the cost price in this case? Which formula you will be using? Yes, cost price is. SP into 100 upon 100 minus loss percent. So we will be using this formula and let us uh, see what is CP in this case. So 1955 into 100 upon 100 minus 15. So that gives us 195500 upon 85. Simplify this and tell me what is the answer. Okay, I'm getting rupees 2300. Have you got it? Okay, now tell me what will be the total cost price. Let us now look into the whole transaction. So total CP is rupees 1700 plus rupees 2300. So that gives us rupees 4000. And what is the total CP? Selling price that is 1955 into 2 because he has sold uh, both the watches at uh, 1955 each. So it gives us rupees 3910. Now tell me which is greater CP or SP? Yes, CP is greater. So if CP is greater, so that means there will be a loss. So what will be the loss? We can calculate loss using the formula CP minus SP. So this is 4000 minus 3910. So when you subtract, what do you get? We get this as uh, rupees 90. Now we need to find out the loss percent. Loss percent is calculated on CP. So loss percent, this, this should be total CP, yes. So loss percent will be loss upon CP into 100. So that gives us 90 upon 4000 into 100. Simplify this. 
what do you get yes the answer is uh, 2.25 so what is loss percent 2.25 in the entire transaction i hope this question is clear to you